Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and if you're new, here we share good food from the Geordie Kitchen got a kooky recipe for you today this is my traditional kooky recipe you can use any chocolate chips that you have to hand but I've made these quite festive today with the addition of sprinkles and chocolate beans and stuff like that so if you want to learn how to make these delicious cookies, keep watching Now the first thing you're going to do is cream your butter and sugars together about a minute with an electric whisk or by hand for two minutes. And then you whisk your, your egg with your egg yolk and add that a little bit at a time. And then in a separate bowl you want to whisk your flour and your bicarb and salt together and then you add that in little bits till it's all incorporated. I've actually doubled the recipe here. What I do is I double my recipe and then I split it down the middle and I use half white chocolate chips and I use half dark chocolate chips. I just like the variation. So when you've um, incorporated all your flour, you'll, be, you'll have a dough like this and then your chocolate chips go in. And this is some extra Smarties that I added. These are the Christmas edition, the candy cane colours. They weren't peppermint though, they were just chocolate. And you could add sprinkles at this stage as well. Whatever you like. This is Mr. Howie stirring all those bits in because it was very tiring at this stage. And then you drop spoonfuls onto some greased paper. These came out huge. This is the amount I used and the cookies that came out, they were like plates. They were, the, they were bigger than my hand. I managed to get 14 of that size out of this mix. And then I got, from the other mix, I got 14, but they were slightly smaller. But they were huge, but they were lovely. They were, they were really good. You can make them smaller. I mean, the original recipe says to add um, to use smaller sizes and you should get about 18 for the recipe that I listed and this is just some sprinkles going on the top as well the Christmas sprinkles you don't have to do this 
The grandchildren love these ones though. Took them over last night and they love them. And there's some extra little chocolate beans on the top. Those are the ones I got from Amazon. And there's the oven time on the screen there for you. At 170, so this is what they'll be like when they come out. You need to let them rest for about 15 minutes. Otherwise they'll just bend all over and you won't get them off the sheet. So let them firm up. I'm just showing you the size compared to my hand. They're huge. So when they've firmed up a little, you can put them to completely cool onto a rack. If you want a, f a crispier cook, you just cook them a bit longer. Just keep an eye on them though, because they do, they go from very pale to, to burnt <laughs> really quick. I know from experience. <laughs> so these are the white chocolate ones. These are a little bit smaller. These are my favourite, my personal favourite, the white ones. Absolutely delicious. And these have red sprinkles in them as well. So they are quite squidgy. I'll just show you one opened. Soft and squidgy. You can bake them, that's the beauty of the recipe. You can bake them longer if you like a crispier one or even shorter if you want it even more squidgy. And it also freezes very well the cookie dough if you want to freeze them in little blobs, open freeze them and then cook them as and when you need them. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.